What's going on YouTube? Benable Straws back with an event video for you guys. I'm going to be recommending who you should be bringing up to G19 to be able to max the event in no time. One of our Twitch viewers named Zodi for short uh, asked me pretty much like who if you were to G19 anybody on each team coming from Alpha Flight, Hive Mind, Spider Society or Extreme X-Men who would you prioritize to be able to score higher with this right here? And it got me thinking, I was like, man, that's going to be a really good video to be able to inform everybody, let people know like how to max the event, not max the event, but max these limits that we have. And I, and I just got to thinking, I was like, well, if you, if you're going to G19 anybody from Alpha Flight, it's going to be I'd say probably going to be your North Star because North Star has a lot of use in Cosmic Crucible. He has a lot of use on War Defense and he's literally the one you want to keep alive the most. Of course, it's going to be Mutant Gear, so it's going to butt in with your Extreme X-Men and bringing them up. And then moving on to Hive Mind, who's going to be the best person out of this? That is a tough call. The I only say that because it's stuck between Void Knight and Red Goblin, but I think it's going to be Red Goblin because of all the damage that he does. He has a lot more viability when it comes to being able to put out a lot of damage when you're fighting with Hive Mind as well as defending with Hive Mind. And usually when you go up against a Hive Mind in war or anywhere really, you have to control the Red Goblin because if you don't and you kill a Carnage per se, or you kill any of the symbiotes, he's going to gain turn meter, he's going to go and he is going to ult your face off. So you definitely don't want that. For Spider Society, that's, that's a tough call because they're all amazing, right? But I believe with this one, I'd say maybe with Penny Parker. Penny Parker has a lot of uh, sustain, and I know a lot of people would probably say, oh, well, maybe you want to bring up Peter B because he's skill gear, and you probably want to bring up Penny Parker because she's tech gear and skill gear. But if you were to pick one of them, I'd say you probably want to pick either Peter B Parker or you're going to be picking Penny Parker. We have the math on these as well. We, we broke it down pretty simply. So for, let's see, for, let's see here, just gotta find it here, okay, let's open, all right, for Extreme X-Men, I hands down have to say Nightcrawler. I know it's going to hurt a little bit with um, Mutant Gear here, but currently I'd say, let's see, it would be Mutant, then it would be Bio, then it would be Skill slash Tech, and then it would be Mutant again. So there's not necessarily a good way to go about the Mutant side of things. And I feel like they're doing that to be able to like, hurt us later right let's see where is the thing i had here let's see so with this math here well not necessarily with the math i'm showing you but we did some math earlier and the number of rate attacks required to max a milestone point, this was given to me by Saini and Nemesis Gaming. Big shouts out to Nemesis Gaming. It's you have to have one G19 character. If you have one G19 character, you'll be doing 20 attacks. If you have two G19 characters, you'll be doing 10 attacks. If you have three G19 characters, you'll be doing seven attacks. And if you have four G19 characters, you'll be doing five attacks. And, um, or no, that's four, four G19 characters is five attacks. Five G19 characters is four attacks. But I'm sort of making this video to uh, like pretty much 
prioritize who, if you only had one person to bring up for your G19, right? Say you're free to play and you're very limited on things that you could bring up. I would definitely recommend North Star for Alpha Flight, Red Goblin for Hive Mind, and or Void Knight, because he's also um, Mystic Gear, so that's going to be a little bit easier just in case you want to save on that Bio Gear. And for Spider Society, it's going to be stuck between Penny Parker or or uh, Peter B. Parker, that's for sure. It's It's such a... It's such a catch-22 because all of these raid teams are insane. Like, they're great everywhere. And with Extreme X-Men, I think it's hands down going to be Nightcrawler. Let's go check out the characters real quick. Let's see here. So let's go to... What was the first one? Alpha Flight. As you can see, I have all of my Alpha Flight here at level 100. Of course, they're going to perform very well elsewhere. But North Star, Wolverine, and Guardian are the three that I decided to take up because I wanted to save a little bit on Mutant Gear from this guy. He is already doing his job at G18, and Wolverine is super cheap. He's only like two pieces. So if you had to take the cheap route between doing a Mutant mutant person here and then also doing an extreme x-men i would probably go this route but you also have to be mindful of the uniques as well uh guardian of course is tech gear like say you um so you don't have any mutant gear then i would probably either do guardian because he's tech and not really anybody on the list is gonna have to take that and he has a pretty reasonable unique let's move over to Hive Mind. So out of my Hive Mind team, I have Void Knight and Red Goblin. I didn't necessarily do Carnage because he's very situational. You know, I had a video that came out with the old stats versus new stats. And you typically want to only upgrade the people that are newer, the people that are going to have more longevity and down the line like this Dark Horizon here, since he gets so much focus. This is outside of raids, this is all of that. This this attack gains 5,000 extra focus no matter what. So if you're trying to flip a Black Knight or you're just trying to flip all the positive effects on a team, Void Knight is definitely a good one for you. And he is Bio Gear. I mentioned in here that he was Mystic Gear. I misspoke, I forgot that he was Cosmic. But he is Bio Gear if you want to go this route, as well as Red Goblin. His damage is absolutely insane. So I typically would definitely recommend Red Goblin, but it, it's going to vary between which one you're using the most. Either you're using a Void Knight to be able to flip everything, or you're using a Red Goblin for super damage. Moving on to Spider Society. Let's see. Of course, I have a lot of G19 Spider Society because they're, they're just so good. Like uh, this right here, you have bio and skill. So if you have a little bit of a mix of two, you could probably do Ghost Spider because she is cheap. I believe Noir is only two pieces, one and two. And his unique is uh, Ballistic Weave. So if you had to go this route and you had to use Mystic Gear, then I would definitely go this route. Always go the cheaper route, but you know, most of these characters on these teams aren't necessarily going to hurt you if you do bring them to G19 anyway. But this is the catch 22 here between Peter Parker and Penny Parker. They're just so good. Like right now, Penny Parker is being used in the Orcus uh, raid on Orcus Omega difficulty three. Like, say you don't have Nimrod and say you don't have Omega Sentinel, you're going to want to use a good, very, very well-statted Penny Parker in the Orcus raids in tech. Here, Peter B. Parker, sure, you can use him in the uh, skill section of the raids, but there's just more longevity. Like, say I had to go through the skill section and then I had to go through the tech section. Penny Parker has double use double use 
I, I think I'd have to go with Penny Parker on my decision with this one, simply because you can use her in two different sections. You can use her in the skill section and you can use her in the tech section. So that's one thing to really consider. Moving over to Extreme X-Men. Absolutely agree with Nightcrawler. He is by far one of my favorites on the Extreme X-Men. A lot of viability in other places. And if you put him on defense with his, with some certain comps that we're seeing in war, he can definitely be a pain and really ruin your day. Now, mind you, Nightcrawler, of course, is <laughs> two pieces. <laughs> but, oh my goodness. Ugh. My game crashing definitely doesn't help. Yeah, Nightcrawler was so strong that he crashed my game. But speaking of terms of the event, uh, you necessarily just want to be able to do it all in, in retrospect of how many attacks you have to do. There's a way to... There's a way to cheese the event, right? If you say you want to go into the nodes and load in with the characters and then just lose battle, I believe that will count for it as well. Because I don't think that these are like win or lose. I think it's just raid with these characters. We're going to double check here once this loads back up. But remember that it's only one G19 character from each team. You will have to do 20 attacks. So that will be four, no, two days worth of battles if you're in the same section, doing 50 energy there and 50 energy there. So it's gonna feel a little weird when you're doing your raid attacks. If you are trying to just cheese the event and go all the way up, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot better doing it that way, I'd say, because I have so many G19 characters. So I I think I have, let's say I have two G19 characters, so I'm gonna have to do 10 attacks. So those 10 attacks are gonna happen no matter what. Because you get 50 energy and then 12 hours goes by, then you get another 50 energy. So yeah, this is just battling in raids with them. And... You definitely do want to G18 them as well, but if you had to pick one to G19, it would be North Star for Alpha Flight, it would be Red Goblin or Void Knight for High of Mind. For Spider Society, I would definitely pick Penny Parker over Peter B. Parker. I know that sounds crazy, but you get dual use, so you can clear this section a little bit faster. And with Extreme X-Men, you definitely want to go with Nightcrawler. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If you guys wanna join us on Twitch, the link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching everybody and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Best of luck in the event and I hope you guys max out your milestones so you guys can get a chance at this little guy over here with blade diamonds. See you in the next one everybody.